Hey everyone, Justin here for S&S Archery. In today's gear video, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the hydration systems that we offer here at S&S. Today's gear video, we're gonna be looking at the Hydropack Seeker. All right guys, getting started in today's gear video, one of the most important things that we have to have when we're out there hunting is of course water. We need it to be able to eat our dehydrated meals. We need it to hydrate our body. It's just something we have to have. So to find a solution for our filtration is very important. And I'm really happy with the Hydropack Seeker. It's currently the setup I'm running. I've been running it now for about six months. Absolutely love it. Um, I used to run Sawyer. I've tried the Catadines, um, but this, the Hydropack Seeker in my application of hunting seems to work great. Uh, when I mean the application for me on backcountry hunter, uh, where I camp is not usually where there's water. So I have to be able to fill up a water source, transport dirty water back up to my camp and be able to drink. This system works fantastic for that. You're basically treating this bladder or this bag as a, uh, a soft water bottle, three liters worth. You have individual marks here where you can measure out exactly how much water you want to, to fill up. You do get this stuff sack. I personally don't use it, but it's nice that they offer it to you guys. Uh, you can see here, when this is fully collapsed down, it's gonna fit in this small bag. So uh, you can just see the overall size, very small, about the size of my hand. Uh, this is a TPU abrasion free. Um, RF welded seam material, very strong and durable. Like I said, this is the system I've been running. This is my bag here. Uh, I've ran it all season. I haven't had any issues with any pops, you know, any leaks at all on it. Just seems to work great. Yes, it's a little discolored. That's just from my recent trip, not cleaning it out on the inside. What is nice, this 42 millimeter diameter up here on the top allows you to, when you get home, to reach down and clean with some kind of dishwashing tool on the inside of the bag. Uh, definitely going to clean up a lot better than what you're going to see here. Uh, like I said, 42 millimeters up top. Uh, this cap just unscrews. The actual filter itself, a little bit different than some of our other systems. It's got these microfibers here on the inside. Uh, these are going to eliminate 99.9% .9 of your waterborne illnesses. So E. coli, Giardia, all those that we need to worry about. It's going to have you safe for sure. Um, as far as maintenance on these, very simple to clean. You don't ever want to run them directly under a hose uh, or your water faucet at home, but you basically just take off the filter and, and swivel it back and forth in the water source and it's going to allow the debris to fall out. It's very easy. I have found as well when I'm getting ready to go on a hunt, if you pre-wet the filter or have the filter in water as you're hiking down the trail, it's gonna flow water a lot better. So these things have an amazing flow rate, very impressed with it. You don't have to sit there and, and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. They're gonna work very well. But just pre-wetting those fibers and letting those pores open up, allow the water flow even faster. One thing I wanna mention about this Hydropack Seeker is you can run other 42 millimeter filters on this system, like the B-Free. I, I like the Hydropack, I actually prefer it over the B-Free. Uh, simply because of this lock here on top, if this thing ever gets pushed upside down in my pack, it's not going to leak. It has a rubber gasket on the inside that seats, so you're not going to have to worry about water. My one little gripe is this cap here, which exposes the nozzle, is a little bit hard when you first get it. Over time, it seems to loosen up. Hasn't been that much of an issue as of recently. And then you just twist the nozzle open, and you're ready to start drinking it directly, or you can go ahead and filter right into a cup. Let's go with the bag itself. You do have a handle. So this is great for uh, if you, you know, you fill this bag up, you just need to transport it a little bit up to your camp. You can, you know, take a compression strap, hook it right on your pack, uh, put a carabiner on there, something like that, attach it onto your pack, very easy. And then you have these little hooks here that are uh, loops that are basically allowing a space in between the bag itself. These will allow you to let this just basically pre-drip into your, into your cup. So if I get back to camp and I don't want to sit there and squeeze the water, I can just let it self-drip while I'm doing other things. Makes it a little bit more efficient, other things you can do. 
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna demonstrate is basically the flow rate of this Hydrofac Seeker. Like I said, it works extremely well. Uh, this is without pressing, just holding the bag free. You can see just how well it's flowing. And then if I squeeze the bag, just how fast I'm able to fill this glass up. And like I said, we have the twist. You can lock that down, run this back over, squeeze it into your pack, and you're not going to have any issues with it leaking. So very cool design. Uh, if you're a guy that transports water, you need to be able to take at least three liters back up to your camp. This is definitely an awesome solution weighing at just 4.5 ounces uh, for guys that don't use a water bladder in your pack with a hose. That's definitely the solution I would be checking out. So if you guys have any questions about the HydroPack Seeker or anything else in the store that we carry, please feel free, give us a call, shoot us an email. We'd be glad to help and thanks for watching.